You're watching Bernadette TV and this episode was supposed to be all about how to sell without selling but as I was getting ready to film it something popped into my mind and I thought there's something else I'd much rather talk to you about and the conversation is turned into do you have what it takes to make a success of your business so a little bit of background on me you may or may not know that I have been writing my own paychecks for over 21 years and I am very fortunate that I have grown a business online that has sold over $8 million online. Now, I'm not telling any of that to you to brag. I just want to say the context for what I'm about to share with you. Because I was just remembering how when I started out, uh, even before I was in business, in like an early job, which was a sales job, how much I hated selling. And I was thinking about a very embarrassing moment where I made a complete fool of myself, completely humiliated myself, uh, by messing up with a customer and one of my colleagues at the time just shook his head and he said you know Bob Bernadette you're just not cut out to sell and I hope he's watching this and has just heard about me sharing that I've sold eight million dollars online because I guess that showed him anyway this isn't a revenge video and it's not a no 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 I'll show you it just got me thinking about how many people over the years have expressed an opinion in what I'm doing. So people have told me that it would be kinder to my children and I would be a better mother if I gave up my business and went on to benefits. I've been told I am just not cut out for business. I've been asked, when are you going to go and get a proper job? And lots more that thankfully is kind of washed over me that I've forgotten. And the reason I wanted to share this with you is because what I want to say to you today is nobody else gets to define who you are. Was it true that at that moment, over 20 years ago, that my sales skills could do with some upgrading? Absolutely. Was it true that I maybe needed to adopt some different and more empowering mindset around selling? Absolutely. But what that meant was there was room for me to grow. There was room for me to learn. And I think too often, special people are held back, stopped by other people's opinions, by people reflecting their opinion of where you are at that snapshot in time, that moment in time. But that does not define nor limit who you can become. So I just felt inspired to do this video as a message for anyone out there who has been criticized or shamed and or humiliated and maybe started to doubt themselves because someone who just at that moment had a bit more confidence in you put across their opinion of you in a way that you started to believe them. And if you have a dream and there's something that you want to do in your life or in your business, then don't let anything stop you back from that. Absolutely, you might need to go and learn new skills. Absolutely, there might be um, new habits you need to put in place. Absolutely, there might be new mindset that you need to adopt. You may need to do all of that, but all of that is learnable, doable, fixable, changeable. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this episode and if I did the right thing <laughs> to make this video instead of the one that I was planning to make, please do share your comments and thoughts in the box below and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Bernadette TV.